Five o'clock, we know the man who was killed in this tragic accident on the main line. Without warning, a tree came crashing down on his car, and it's believed that gusty winds may have played a role. After that happened, the driver lost control and hit oncoming traffic. Good evening, I'm Chris May. And I'm Natasha Brown. Jessica is off today. This all happened on Sproul Road near Sunny Hill Lane in Radnor Township. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Patterson has more. It was very loud, very chaotic. And Neighbor David Reiser recalls that sickening sound when the tree came crashing down, but it's what he saw next that he can't forget. It was a pretty grisly scene, um, so I, you know, I st started trying to process, you know, what could I do to help, and the police were here so fast. Tuesday, police identified 54-year-old Narcissus Mothersill as the man who was driving this car. Police say Monday afternoon, shortly before 5, Mothersill was driving south on Sproul Road near Sunny Hill Lane in Villanova. It's when this tree suddenly uprooted, landing directly on top of his car. Mothersill, who was en route to pick up one of his two children, died at the hospital. Gentleman's just driving home, and, and the tree comes down on the road without warning, you know, and, and uh, you know, essentially it, it cost him his life. Lieutenant Andy Block says the weather was a factor. The contributing factor here was the wind. Um, you know, we were experiencing winds, you know, in the area of 20 to 25 miles an hour, with gust up to 40. The car crossed over the median, striking an oncoming vehicle. No one else was hurt. Most of the tree ended up in Riser's yard, destroying his fence and scaring his three small children. A very sobering experience, to say the least. Um, you know, you think about what if, what could have happened. And then, um, you know, when we learned the outcome of the car accident last night, to, to think about the person's family and what they're going through today, I just feel lucky. And coming up at 6 o'clock, much more from the man we just introduced you to, that tree falling into his yard. He watches as police cut the victim out of his car. We're also asking more about who's legally responsible when a tree falls from a residential property onto that state road, landing on top of the car. For now, reporting from Radnor Police Headquarters. I'm Steve Patterson, CBS3 Eyewitness News.